So today I want to do a video on reparations, basically. Um, I want to do a video basically on reparations and black Americans and slavery having to do with, like, the guilt of slavery and things of that nature. Now, what I don't understand is that the left, sometimes the right, use it in a way to be white versus black. In my opinion. You'll see, starting, I'm going to start with the conservative side. Because I feel like with the conservative side, I don't know, we're kind of closer, so why not talk about them first? Um, so, they'll talk about, like, how with uh, reparations, it's faulting white people. Now, I don't understand why I fall into that trap of saying, like, it, it is faulting white people for slavery, right? And uh, white people are um, should pay black people back for the suffering they endured during slavery. That would all make sense if this were 1860. And then they will try and say, well, no one is around from 1860, so we can't give reparations. And then, the thing is, with that argument that I don't agree with, is several things. But I'll start with the first thing. I think... Slavery didn't just affect the slaves, you know. Slavery affected slave owners. Um, and their descendants. And slavery affected slaves and their descendants. So, basically, I mean... It's not just a situation of just affecting the people who actually endured it and um, enforced it, basically. Monetarily speaking, just thinking monetarily, for example. I mean, the slaves, they didn't have anything, you know, to give their children and their grandchildren and so forth. You see, my ancestry can tell you that when, like, going back to my grandfather, my mother's father, as I like to say, um, his great grandfather was born in 1830. And a lot of, you know, Different generations are like that, where, like, the grandparents, great-grandparent, is, um, born during the slavery, um, times. I do think he was born free. Um, the reason I do think that is because he was up north, so it's more commonplace up there. But I'm saying that, you know, it's not that far. Slavery isn't that far. If people like to say that it's so far and so distant, we're not that far yet. Maybe in a hundred years we will be, but right now we're not that far. And then add it to the fact that with slavery, it wasn't like after slavery we were treated actually equally. It was more so like after slavery we were treated like Basically, you're the person who just stopped being a slave, basically. And socially, how we were treated was pretty, um, pretty denigrating, you know. And we weren't really able to get as much opportunity as some other races of people. And we look at different atrocities done to different people, Native Americans, for example, and a, like Japanese people. 
You see that a lot of the time with these people, they were treated a lot better after their harsh treatment than black people. It's like they give apologies when they, um, you know, they give reparations. They make well the situation, basically. They do this because they think that. And society thinks, generally, that, you know, black people kind of deserved it. The reason black people deserve it is because black people, in some idea, are just less than, you know. Um, you see this in different avenues, too, because this is why black people are always told, like, you can't have any standard in life. Can't. You have to accept everyone, because if you're acceptable, then everybody's acceptable, because you're such something that shouldn't be accepted, but we accept you kind of like mentality. So, of course, there's not going to be any apology or sorry to black people for that, because they see it that way. Now, the problem that I have mostly with this situation and the main issue that I have is facts, for example. Um, the thing is, like, people say, like, reparations basically would make it where white people were cannibal for slavery, but black people were basically... Um, Code, you know, it's it's a way to make things better, basically. You get what I'm saying? I don't really think that because this is the liberal side of it. They use reparations. They don't use reparations in reality. Like, honestly, they don't really use reparations. They're just using it as a Wedge, like they use these riots and these um, George Floyd stuff, which had nothing to do with um, racism at all. I mean, that's been well proven, and I'm glad that it's been well proven. I'm gonna do a um, another video actually on that soon. But they use these situations to try and make a wedge so then they can gain power. But they don't even intend to ever have that with black people because they plan to just overlook black people. Like I said, they don't care about the whole situation that caused black people the misfortune and the after effects of slavery. No they don't care really who is the descendant of slaves. And we focus on so much that slavery has to do with black people and slave owners had to do with white people. It did back then, but does it now? That's the main thing here. Because people always assume that the slaves continued. Now, there's really, this is a really fucked up part. This is why our families are the way they are anyway, I think. Um, nobody likes to address this. Black people always try and shun away from it. It's so weird. Like, you know, we have a history. We have terms to shame the slaves, slave victims and stuff. We have different things that we use to um, shame the slaves, usually. But we don't really have it against slave owners, you know. And this is in part why people ignore this aspect to slavery. It's because... Jessica Alba, Carmi Fiorita, Tarana Burke, Melinda Gates, Roxanne Gay, Carol Mosley Vaughn, I'll tell you something, Ed. I don't think I've ever said this publicly. And many more for CNN's special report, the 100-year battle for equality, Saturday. Like, um, sorry for stopping, but I kind of had to focus because I can't see. 
But nobody really likes to focus on this. Like when black people take DNA tests, for example. They don't want to focus on their ancestry, all of their ancestry. Because the truth is, black people and white people are the descendants of slaves and slave owners. There is no distinct difference. Yes, some white people are. But it's a minority that are the descendants of just slave owners. Nobody is the descendant of just slaves, though, you know? The reason why that is is because black people, if they take a DNA test, they're never just black. Even the most black woman that I've seen on YouTube, it's 97% black. Is that European? And I think she may have a little known Native American, or was it just like European? One or the other. But we always have European in our heritage, you know? All of us have European ancestry. You know? And for some reason, people never pay attention to this fact, really. They just think that, you know, if you look black, then that's what your ancestors were, so then that's what they focus on. And people will talk about racism. Racism had nothing to do with slavery long ago. The racism you experience would be experienced whether you were African, the actual perpetrators of slavery, or if you were a black American. So, racism has nothing to do with specifically, um, have anything specifically to do with, um, slavery, you know. People never focus on that. The new immigrant populations that are from Africa, technically they should be paying the reparations. Because their ancestors, they are usually the descendants of people who contributed to slavery. While white Americans on average aren't. Because there's so much immigration that my, and many, a good portion of white Americans are just descendants of immigrants. They don't make it to 1865. They make it after that point. And then for the ones who do make it, there are so many black, I mean white people of African ancestry. There's like, I remember looking at one study and it said one third of white Americans have African ancestry. If you think of that, one third of white Americans in itself have black American ancestry, mostly from slaves. So they are descendants of slaves, and they are descendants of slave owners in those cases. How are they any different? than black Americans who are the descendants of slaves and descendants of slave owners. Then added to all of that, slave, I mean, the, the difference, the other side of it is that, you know, white people who have, like, usually it's like 1%, 2%, not high percentage of African ancestry, but it doesn't matter what the percentage is, because if you know anything about slavery and what happened, that would actually imply more damage occurred in their families, more slave rape occurred in their families. You know, um, many of the time, people, I read one story where some slaves were abused, and then their gen the generation after them was abused, and then the generation after them, and then the generation after them. Think of the effect on a family who has the great-grandmother raped from... Childhood to grave, 
to the next generation, childhood to grave, to the next generation, childhood to grave. Do you think that they, a person like that, that has come from a line of that and only known that kind of abuse, how are they going to raise their kids? And how is that going to affect their kids? Because we all know that that can lead over to the next person's, how they raise their children if they don't go to therapy and things like that. And obviously that wasn't available to them back then. They were humans just like we are now. So they were obviously affected by slavery. Emotionally, monetarily, quite obviously everyone was. Um, every way possible. I mean, in every way possible, really literally, for them. So, I mean, how are they not as eligible for reparations as black people that descended from slaves? Because black people didn't just descend from slaves. They descended from slave owners, too. Where do they get off not having to pay for reparations if it's only for people who are descendants of slaves? Then, if you have any white in you, then you probably have slave owner ancestry as well. So then you should be paying too, or you should be getting paid. If it's just off if you have slave ancestry, then white people, white Americans, would be able to get reparations. Is that a small percentage? No. One third of white people is more than black people in this country. That's over 20% of the population. Black people are only 13%. And 13% of the population, the black population, is not even all the descendants of slaves. There are Caribbeans. There are Africans. There are all kinds of people here that are descendants of immigrants. So, there would be way more white people that would get, be getting reparations than black people based off slavery. Am I against that? Um, there's also always the question. No, I, I don't really care about that. Honestly, the, my problem with reparations is this. I think that reparations are made into being a racial issue. And it's like, okay, if we're going to make reparations about slavery, then we have to really deal with it in reality. And if we dealt with it in reality, you would see there are a lot of white people that would also be eligible for reparations, and there are black people who would be. Um, it's not a black or white issue. Who would be paying the reparations on top of it? Because they're most white people aren't the descendants of slave owners, usually. Many of their families are immigrants. Then there are other families who were against um, slavery in itself. So then, I mean, like, there's a lot of families that are white that did not descend from slave owners. And if they did, they, there's only a few of those that still come from that line without any mixture. You know, because there's one third, 20%. And then immigrant, um, I didn't look at the stats of that. But, I mean, that's a good portion of their population. I would gather, I would guess that they'd only have like 30% of the population paying at this point. Be less than half because, like I said, 20%, over 20% are descendants of slaves themselves. So, yeah. I don't really think that reparations have to do with race, really. I think it's just a tool. And I think the conservative side is silly, because why buy into the tool, you know? Like, it's not really about black people versus white people when we talk about reparations, if we look deeply into it, because the people who would be getting reparations would be white and black.
So I don't I don't know. To me, I just don't agree with either side on the issue completely. I think that well, if we were to do reparations. What kind of reparations would these be at this point? The problem is, is that slaves were a smaller population back in the day because it was just them. As they have children, and they have grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, and now great-great-great-grandchildren, and so forth. They have it where those people aren't able to. They have it where those people have such a larger population than they did originally. They had such a smaller population back in the day because they weren't procreating. It was just them, you know? So now financially, it would be a big strain on us, obviously. If we had reparations for over 30% of the population in America, if you had black people and you had white people, it's over 30%. That's about one-third of our population that would be eligible for reparations. So, at the end of the day, it's just a tool to use. It's not reality. Neither side is really going to do reparations anyway. And then on top of it, I mean, I don't know. It's like, on top of it, 30, like 30, like 30 percent is kind of like a high amount. How are we going to finance that? Yeah. In that job, but it, it just doesn't make really much sense. And then on top of it, like I said, we'd mostly be helping white people. So, I mean, one thing I want to end by saying, though, is I don't think we should shame anybody on either side. Because this has happened on both sides, in my opinion, um, when it comes to black and white issues. Like, People will shame slave ancestry. People will shame slave owner ancestry. I never understood either side. Like, you really shouldn't shame people for slave owner ancestry. Everybody has it. If we have ancestry from before 1865, most people have it. All black people have slave owner ancestry, and many white people have slave owner ancestry. You know, um, the main people who don't would be the uh, immigrants. But I mean, that's nothing to be ashamed of because it's just a part of you. Like it's a part of history, and it's what it is. I'm not unhappy with anything that's uh, in my Heritage. I really don't. It's what it is. They're dead. They're not, you know, alive. They're not some people we can. I mean, I don't know. Even if they were alive, what we do? I mean, it was legal back then. That's how it was. It's not like they had slave while it was illegal. Um, so, I mean, like, I just, I'm just saying, like, they're not alive today. Who really cares what our genes are? We have worse genes going back. I mean, since Adam? Come on now. You don't think anyone, ever, someone's had all good people in their um, history. That's not how it works. That's just not how it works. We're all related to someone who's messed up. That's just how it is. And same thing with slave ancestry. I mean, that's kind of weird to me. But I see so much of the time people use this term against slave ancestry. Like, for example, you know the whole swirler um, movement. Um, like, swirler pages. Now, I understand they aren't doing that, I guess. Somebody's doing it. Somebody in the black community does that, and it's offensive to me. Because it's like, you don't blame people who are slaves, who are abused, you know what I mean? Because they didn't do anything.
Like, there's a lot of shame, it seems like, with slaves and, like, the position they were in and some of the things that happened to them, you know? And it's sad because, I mean, like, I have no animus towards my ancestors who were slaves, no matter what happened to them. Really, honestly, to me, I'm like, they, um, they are, you know, they were just victims. I don't blame them. I don't see them in a bad lighting or anything or want to, like, call them names or anything. To me, that's a form of self-hate, a form of, you know, shame, you know, in that regard. And that's sad. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say on this. It's just like, I don't think we should really shame anyone on either side or use this as a tool against people who have slave owner ancestry or have slave ancestry. You're a black American, you have both anyway, so where are you pointing the finger at anyone at that point? You, have, you can't point the finger at anyone. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to be done. All right, bye.